the AAC championship game. And we have got Tulane as a four-point favorite over UCF. The total sits at 57, of course, latest numbers at BetUS. And uh, let's go on and pull up the uh, the numbers on this one. Gus Malzahn's bunch actually won 38-31 when they went to Tulane earlier this season in Yulman Stadium. Well, they got to go back now uh, because they have taken losses uh, in multiple different places in the AAC uh, one to Navy at home. They lost to East Carolina. Um, just just issues, you know. <laughs> uh, Tulane has home field advantage, and their offense has been pretty good here uh, lately. Like, th- this is a this is a good team. They are number 14 PPA per rush. Of course, Ty J. Spears has been absolutely ridiculous in the month of November. I think he's averaging like eight and a half yards per rush in November. It's like 70 rushes. So it's a huge, huge sample size. And they've been doing that against pretty good competition. Um, but you look at these, uh, you look at these numbers. I've got Tulane by three point eight one, and it just keeps going that direction, right? Because this thing opened at want to say two, and it's moved all the way out to four right now. Uh, and the big reason for that is John Reese Plumley or Rice Plumley, whatever it is, Plumley, the quarterback. Um, he pulled up with a hamstring injury last week. Gus Malzahn says he's fine. He's been dealing with that for weeks, but eh, if if he's not good to go, this Tulane team has played team uh, that have quarterbacks like Mikey Keene, and they've been able to shut them down defensively. Uh, you look at these numbers, both of these over the past five weeks, good offense, not very good defense, right? That's the, the best way to say it. Um, the running attack for Tulane is much more, it's not quarterback-based. The rushing attack for U, uh, UCF is quarterback-based. Um, they are number 22 PPA per rush. Well, that Tulane defense is number 107 in PPA per rush allowed. Uh, UCF's offense, number 25 in rushing success. Tulane's defense, number 85 in rushing success allowed. Well, if Plumlee is not going to play at 100%, you can't really take advantage of that because that is what the Gus Malzahn running game is predicated on. Having a running quarterback that's able to, you're, you're basically putting more people out there than the defense can actually defend. So that becomes a, a bit of an issue. As far as the offense goes for Tulane, I'm not going to say it's pro style because obviously it's not. I mean, Willie Fritz has run the option or at least some version of it uh, basically his entire career, but Spears is absolutely fantastic. They are number 24 in rushing success rate. Well, UCF's defense is number 70 in rush success allowed Tulane number 14 in PPA per rush and UCF number 96 in PPA per rush allowed. So you look at stuff rate, Tulane only allowing, uh, or they're number 12 in uh, stuff rate allowed, but UCF is only number 91 in stuff rate. Uh, Standard Downs PBA, Tulane stays ahead of the chains. They're number 15. UCF is number 104. Like, this is this is a big spot. I think that Tulane is excited that Willie Fritz is going to stay in New Orleans. I think this team is going to go out and get them a championship. Yes, my number is a little bit shorter than what the actual spread is, uh, but give me Tulane. Give me Tulane to cover as a favorite here. I, I think they are just the better team, and with injury issues, on the other side, I think this is a big spot. Like, just a big, big spot for Tulane to be able to get a little bit of revenge for what happened just a few weeks ago uh, in their own stadium when UCF jumped out, scored on four of their first five possessions. I think Tulane gets that revenge, gets the AAC championship. Give me Tulane to cover the four. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.